Hello friends, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. It is a rockin' Saturday night in central Illinois. Uh, Brad and I went and got some pizza tonight, and then we went and got coffee at Scooters. I don't know, do you guys have a Scooters? Um, the closest Scooters to me is about, I don't know, 20, it's probably about 20 minutes away. It's in a, a, a town close to ours. I really like Scooters though. Because the only Starbucks that's in that town is like actually inside the Kroger and the Kroger has been closed down for some time. And, you know, even if it was, and it's going to reopen, but even if it was open, you still have to get out of your car and go in to the Starbucks. So I really like scooters. I'm happy with it. They have great breakfast sandwiches too. Better than Starbucks, I think. So this video is um, my K's, uh, K's Melts. Uh, is it, was it her Black Friday when she had all of her clamshells marked down? I made a pretty good order. Um, I wish I would have bought more. I know I always say that. I really wanted to get some single notes, um, some single oils, and I didn't get as many of those as I thought that I did. I bought some, some blends and clamshells, so I'm not real sure where my mind was that day. But anyway, let's go over what I got. So, I got a couple, let's see, what am I going to start with? Okay, I got a couple that are Yankee types, and neither one of them, um, I, I don't, I, I'm not a Yankee Candle fan, I'm not a big Yankee Candle um, buyer, so I don't have a lot of experience with their blends, but I picked up, I picked up two of these, it's Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. Now, I think it was Susan Fitzpatrick that I saw. I'm almost positive it was her. And she really liked this. And this is Sweet Tart Apricots and Fresh Petals, Yankee type. And yeah, this is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of that mango one that I just warmed from Hayden Rowe that I liked so much. But I definitely on the bottom get the, get the more of the floral petals. But this is super pretty. This is going to be great in my bedroom. I'm really going to like this in my bedroom. So yeah, I, I hope this is a good performer. It's clean. It's fresh. I don't really know what apricots smell like. But I definitely get the fresh petals. It's super pretty. I do like it. So I grabbed two of those. And then the other Yankee type I got was Honey Lavender Gelato. And this one is Violet, Blackberry, Raspberry, Warm Honey, and Vanilla, Yankee type. And this is, this is interesting. Yeah, I definitely get the berry. I couldn't tell you if it's raspberry or blackberry. I think it's blackberry. And I get that honey. I definitely get warm honey and a creamy note. It's funny that it doesn't say there's lavender in it. I think I get a little perfuminess too. This is super pretty also. Yeah, this is really nice. I like that. I'm glad I got that. I thought I got like a lavender cupcake. I don't know if that's in here or not, guys. I can't remember now. Okay. Oh, here it is. Ha. Yeah, I got a lavender sprinkle cupcake, which is vanilla bean cake, lavender maple frosting, and sugar sprinkles. I would not have guessed there would be a maple note in this. And I love this. And I definitely get the maple. I get the lavender, a very sweet lavender, and I get maple, which is really interesting. I don't know that when I picked this out that I realized it was had the maple note to it. I would have thought more of like a, just like a birthday cake or a white cake type note. But this is really good. I like this a lot. I'm glad to have that one. Then I picked up High Tide. I'm not really sure what possessed me to pick this up. It's lemon, orange, sea salt, cedar, violet, and powder. And I really like this one. I definitely get that sea salt note. And definitely get a bit of the citrus, whether it's lemon orange. I don't know. But all those notes together. This is really nice. It might be a little soapy. 
just a little bit, maybe a little like body washy, but I think it's super pretty. I would put that in a bathroom or my bedroom. So I'm glad to have that. Then I picked up Patchouli Rain, Patchouli Ozone Moss, Lily, Cyclamen, and Sweet Citrus. Now I had Patchouli Rain in a blend recently and I remember making the comment on one of my videos that I wanted to pick up the Patchouli Rain oil. And I, I, I'm gonna say this a million times because I love everything I got, but I do really like this. This is interesting. This is not what I anticipated this to smell like, but I have, I had no, I mean, I didn't know what it was going to smell like, but I, I wouldn't have guessed this. Um, I don't know what cyclamen is. I couldn't smell this and pick out one of these damn notes on here though. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't know it, this, it smells like a man to me. And it almost smells like an older man, like maybe a, a, a cologne or an aftershave type of older man type smell. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I'm wondering if, if the patchouli has given me a cigar kind of vibe with an old man and maybe a, maybe, or, or maybe like the chew, the smell of chew. And this is not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm going all over the place, am I? You're like, I'm taking you guys from here to there, but, but this is, I'm, this is, this is taking me straight to an older man. I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. Okay. Um, let's hope I make more sense on some of these. Okay, here's an easy one. Salty Sea Air, uh, Sea Spray, Seaweed, Ozone, Driftwood, and Water Lily. Yeah, and this smells like Salty Sea Air. Yep, I'm going to blend this. Um, I remember Natalie mentioned taking Salty Sea Air and the Rainbow Sherbet from Scentsy and mixing together. I'm going to try that. It's not really, December's not really rainbow sherbet, salty sea air, but I find I've got to have a break. Like I've done a lot of peppermint this week and tomorrow I think I'm doing like, like warm, like coffee type caramel something all over my house. I got to get away from the peppermint and the tree notes. I'm, I'm overdone on them, but yeah, this is really good. It's salty sea air. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking like hugging a mug or something like that. I don't know. Okay. The next one I got is black coral and moss, dark musk, amber cedar, eucalyptus, and lavender. Not real sure why I picked this up either. Um, I like this a lot. I like them all. Listen to me. Yeah, I really like this. There's a bit of a, um, it's definitely going to be like a bedroom scent. A, I think it's a little bit man's body washy to me. With the musk and the amber. But it's nice. I wouldn't mind Brad having a body wash that smelled like this. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay. This is another Yankee type, and this is a big, big winner for me. Fluffy towels. Warm, fluffy towels from the dryer. And I've heard people talk about Yankee type fluffy towels, but I've never had it. And I absolutely love this. Yeah, it doesn't smell like really any detergent. You know, I can't say this smells like downy or snuggle. It is just wonderful laundry, and I love this. Then I picked up the Overlook Hotel, which I think is one of hers that was new for this season. I think this might've been in her sampler. This is Jack Frost, Winter Linen, and Palo Santo. Now I got, I got Winter Linen on itself also. So, Overlook Hotel to me is, is very cold. Like a, like a peppermint, so I'm wondering if Jack Frost has a peppermint in it. 
So I'm getting a lot of that with, with the winter linen mixed in. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. So this one is just winter linen, more um, colder, you know, with that, that strong peppermint. And then the winter linen, this, the scent notes are cashmere, sandalwood, musk, orange blossom, citrus, and floral. And this is a really pretty linen, kind of laundry-esque type scent. I like this one too. And I think I have a blend written down from somebody. Maybe it was Danny who did a blend and I wrote it down that I wanted to do a custom with that in there. I can't really remember. Here's a weird one I got. I'm not, never going to say this right. Hedonic, hedonic, tonic, sage and mint. I have no idea what this is. But I had seen it in her clamshells for a long time and wondered. Yeah, and I think this is just, this is exactly sage and mint. I have no idea what hedonic tonic is or means. This is clean and fresh. And then I got flannel sheets. I've had some blends with flannel sheets in it. Mountain air, cotton, citrus, light floral, and sandalwood. And this I really like. It, this is not to be confused with like flannel from Bath and Body Works. This is nothing like that. This is a laundry, clean linen type smell to me. I really like this too. Okay, and I think the rest are, um, I think the rest are all gonna be kind of like fall bakery types. Okay, let's, okay, we'll first start with this one because this one's a little bakery. Okay, Santa's pajamas. I think this was a new one too, I think. Could be wrong. I think a lot of these are from her, um, that sampler she did. And Santa's pajamas is pine cones, snickerdoodle, and autumn flannel. What did I get? I got flannel sheets. I don't know what autumn flannel is by itself. Okay, this is, yeah, this is snickerdoodle. Like on top, it was snickerdoodle. And then when I smelled the bottom, I'm definitely getting, I think I'm getting the autumn flannel with a pine cone note. So I'm getting all three notes. I really, really like this. Yeah, I would, um, I might, I'm going to have to get some more of this because I would put this in my whole open concept. I really like that. Then I grabbed, this is, this is a huge hit. Strawberry white cake. This is vanilla cake and sweet strawberry. So I have found with strawberry bakery, I don't think that I'm a strawberry pound cake fan. It does not blow my skirt up at all. Um, like sweet strawberries and summer scoop type strawberry is what I like. And this to me is like summer scoop and white cake. It, this is phenomenal. I already have this in my cart, I think in a 16 ounce cut. The next time I place an order, I'm getting this. This is so good. I just love that strawberry note in there. It's like summer scoop is what it smells like to me. Wonderful. Then I grabbed banana bake, banana nut bread, banana flambe, and zucchini bread. I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. And yeah, I think this is really good. Yeah, um, it smells like banana pudding to me. Banana pudding and I do get some of that zucchini bread in the background. But I think this is really good too. Like that. Okay. One that I haven't, I'm not sure of. Salted pretzel milkshake. Bath and Body Works type. Now, I don't think I've ever had this candle from Bath and Body Works. 
Uh, vanilla ice cream, pretzel bits, and chocolate drizzle. I don't think I have this. I might have to look. To me, this one's light to me. Um, I do get a salty note from the pretzel, I'm guessing. It's got to be. Um, but yeah, that's about all I get is maybe a salty vanilla type scent. So this one's light, which I think, I, these are all notes that are I, really honestly going to be light. So, you know, I don't know how strong this would could even be. But yeah, I mean, I do get that salty pretzel note. So we'll see. You can always mix it with something. Okay, then I picked up monkey bread. Baked bread with gooey cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. This one to me is really got a strong cinnamon note in it. I wasn't expecting the cinnamon note to be the strong. Yeah, and that's basically what I get in this one is cinnamon. I don't know that I'm getting any bread on cold or anything. Yeah, I, I get cinnamon on that one. Then I grab toasted monkey pie. This one is monkey bread. Okay, so it will be this with toasted mallow and coconut cream pie. Now this I love. I, I prefer this to the monkey bread. Like there is no, there is no cinnamon note left with the toasty, toasted mallow and coconut cream pie. And I 100% get that coconut cream pie. I really, really like this. I'm gonna let that one sit. I can't wait to melt that one. Yeah, like that cinnamon, this was all cinnamon. To me, the monkey bread was. And it, the cinnamon is gone in this one, so. Okie dokie, then I grabbed County Fair, which is caramel apple, cotton candy, and funnel cake. I think this is on the lighter side too. Um, I get a sweet cotton candy in this. Yeah, I kind of get a light caramel apple with a sweet cotton candy. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one sit because it's this one's pretty light. Okay, and then these next four are my favorite besides the white cake. So the first one I picked up is Bewitched, which is carrot and zucchini bread, spiced apple and toasted mallow. This one is spiced apple heavy with that, I think it's zucchini bread undertone. But this one really is spiced up apple heavy to me. But I like it, I think it's gonna warm beautifully. Yeah, I like that one. Then I grabbed Goblin It Up, Caramelized Pralines, Pumpkin Souffle, and Cornbread. Yeah, I like this. Um, I definitely get the Caramelized Pralines. I think I like Caramelized Pralines more than caramel chestnuts. This doesn't smell burnt at all. I'm not sure about the pumpkin souffle. Oh yeah, and I think I get cornbread. Yeah, this one's really nice. It's really nice. Then I grabbed autumn crunch, apple caramel, zucchini bread, and pumpkin peanut brittle. Oh, that was very caramely apple on top. Um, yeah, I smell a lot of the caramel apple in this one. What was that? Zucchini bread and pumpkin peanut brittle. Not heavy on the zucchini bread at all. A lot of caramel apple in this one. And I think some pumpkin peanut brittle is the other note I'm getting instead of the zucchini bread. I like that one too. And then I think this was the one I liked the best. Fall Bounty, pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and peanut brittle. 
That one was pumpkin peanut brittle, and this one's just peanut brittle. Yeah, I like this one. Definitely pumpkin pecan waffle heavy on top. And I think some zucchini bread there on bottom. Yeah, these are just nice blends. I mean, it's hard when you have pumpkin, pecan waffle, and peanut brittle to kind of really distinguish on some of these. I mean, some of them you could really tell were more caramel apple heavy. That one was more spiced apple heavy. Yeah, but these are just, just nice. Just really warm and inviting. So, yeah, I love these. Um, I love ordering from Kay's. Um, I love everything about her company. Her customer service is top notch. Her shipping is lightning fast. Um, and I always have a cart full of stuff. <laughs> always. Um, I think, like I said, I love those last four um, warm blends. I love the toasted monkey pie. My favorite, my, I think my overall favorite is that strawberry white cake. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And I really like the Santa's pajamas too. Mm. Yeah, I really like that. So yeah, this was a great, um, a great order. So thanks for spending your Saturday night with me. Um, I think I'm going to do maybe one more video. I have um, one more really small haul to do. Then I have a couple things to add with it and uh, kind of a funny story about what we do for our Thanksgiving. So um, yeah, so I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks. Bye.